going on guys rewinds here and this is gonna be my review for boruto episode 221 some of you may have noticed but i haven't made a review for episodes 219 and 220 the reason for that is um i simply just didn't get the chance and stuff was getting a little hectic with the spoilers of the mangas at the time so i didn't get to cover them so i'm gonna give my quick thoughts on that along with this episode so 219 and 220 continue to adapt the manga I believe we got all the way up to chapter 56's end, if I'm correct, or 57. Um, but 219 was the episode that featured um, uh, Boruto, Naruto, Sasuke, and Kawaki um, kind of returning back to Konoha, as well as um, the whole aftermath of the situation. Um, I think it was pretty nice that they expanded especially on the fact that naruto doesn't have karama anymore because in the manga you don't really see it mentioned that much um but in the anime it has been mentioned a bunch of times and now you know there feels like there's some tension that um since karama's is not around anymore and sasuke's lost his eye you can actually feel some tension in the anime that what's gonna happen now if someone invades everybody has to get more serious has to get stronger so good stuff on their part there um i really enjoyed episode 219 but um i think i may have enjoyed 220 more um in this episode we got a pretty great um overview of how boruto is feeling at the moment how he's struggling to sleep and i think um the whole five kage summit that they did virtually was pretty cool um questions were being asked you know to naruto that naruto would normally never want asked but due to the circumstances they ask him if he could kill boruto or not and naruto goes and um has to come to terms that he has to do what's best for the village but he's not going to let it come to that so um naruto is pretty stressed out stressed out this episode you could tell um he was freaking out um the whole scene with him and Sasuke was pretty intense too. I enjoyed that scene. And then to top things off, there was a nice father and son scene between Naruto and Boruto to end off episode 220. Um, so that was really good to see. I'm glad that Amado came through with the pills at the end at the right time. I think they handled it better than the manga because in the manga, you know, stuff was happening kind of chapter by chapter. But I feel like the anime pieced this and connected it a lot better so props to them for that um so if i'm scoring episode 219 and 220 i'd probably give 219 a seven and a half out of ten maybe an eight if i'm pushing it but episode 220 i would probably give an eight and a half out of ten but that's my thoughts on those two. So I'll probably add this into the title that I'm reviewing 219 to 221 since I just talked about those for a little bit. But now let's start talking about um, episode 221. So episode 221 is where we have the anime canon Chunin exams begin. Um, and I mention anime canon because uh, some people don't know. Some people might know, um, but a lot of people... Uh, do watch the anime, don't follow the manga, so just for them to know, this is anime canon, and it seems like we're going to be getting a full-on anime canon Chunin exams arc. Well, I shouldn't say full-on, because if you see what the pacing is here, um, you, you'd know what I mean. So we start off this episode 221 with a written exam as the first stage of the Chunin exams, and... Then, right as the written exam is going on, you cut to a part where Naruto's on TV, and he's talking about how this is the perfect opportunity for um, new Shinobi to step up because of um, what just happened with the whole village being invaded by Ishiki, and that every village is conducting their own tuning exams at the moment within their own villages. So... I thought that the reasoning was pretty good there, and I think it's interesting that they're doing the whole exams um, in their own village. I think it makes sense for the time, just because of what happened recently, but I do think it also kind of sucks at the same time that we won't get guys like Shinki over here for this exam. I thought that would have been cool to see a Boruto versus Shinki rematch here, or even a Mitsuki versus Shinki rematch, but 
Um, they gave logical reasoning, so we can understand why. Um, and then we go back to the written exam. So I have one problem with this part. Uh, well, two problems. One, I felt like it was kind of rushed, um, but that didn't really bug me too much because um, I didn't think we needed like a full episode about it. And we've already known like these getting for a while. So it's not like we needed um, a bunch of new ones introduced with uh, different new techniques, kind of like how they did in the original. Um, but I would have liked it if it was just slightly longer, just a slight little complaint. Um, another thing would be that I think that what bothered me was that they had all the teammates sitting next to each other. Um, I did, I, again, it's a small complaint, but I did think it was better in the original where they had everybody sitting in a different uh, spot so that cheating would be um, tougher because they say you can cheat, you just can't get caught cheating. So, size proctor in this exam, he does catch, I think, one group and they say that the average uh, score for each um, member of the team for the tuning exams uh, has to score a 70. So there's that, but um, I do wish that they had them spread apart because I think that makes cheating kind of easy if they're right next to each other. Let me know if you guys agree with that. But yeah, then we have like a whole second round announcement. Um, Naruto tells them what he's expecting um, and that why they're doing the whole exams again now and how it's going to be a little tougher. And basically, um, they're kind of saying this because they're bringing back an old element of the old tuning exams that they have not used for a while, and that would be the Forest of Death. So the Forest of Death hasn't been used in a while. This is something that I feel like deserved a full episode. They unfortunately did not give it a full episode, um, they did give it like a solid half of the episode, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't too bad, but it felt pretty rushed. And that's mainly, I'd say, my biggest problem with this episode. It just felt, pacing-wise, it felt pretty rushed, and there was a lot of missed opportunities. I didn't need this to be, you know, like four or five episodes long of the written exam and the forest of death, but... Even if they had made this two episodes instead of one, I think it could have helped a lot. So, um, the objective in the Forest of Death is to rescue these people, which are actually tuning, and they have to watch out for, um, obviously the creatures in the Forest of Death, as well as potential enemies. So, for example, the tuning, if they think that the Genin aren't reading the situation properly, they might go and um, start fighting them, and that did happen. There are cases where um, some of the tuning were acting as decoys, were acting um, simply to just be in the way of the Genin. So that leads me to the, my next point. We had a little battle, or a little skirmish, I should say, between Sarda and Mirai. And we haven't seen Mirai in a while, and I think it's pretty cool that they threw her in here because I do like Mirai as a character. I did like her arc that she had along with Kakashi and Guy. I thought that was some pretty cool stuff. Um, I think this fight should have been fleshed out um, a lot more. It just felt like a small little thing again. Um, this is where I'm saying the pacing comes into play again and I wish that we had actually gotten a bit of a battle so we could have seen Sarada's improvement against her because we did have like a Team 7 versus... Uh, Mirai battle before but we didn't uh, we haven't gotten anything um, involving the Genin versus Mirai since so this in my opinion is a missed opportunity um, so the next one I wrote is Boruto saves spider guy I forgot to talk about him I forgot his name to be honest he just seems like a character that's going to be only around in the anime canon I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't um, show up again after uh, this whole tuning exams arc. But supposedly it's some guy that's one of their upperclassmen and uh, he's just been out doing a lot of overseas missions. That's why he hasn't been there. Basically his ability is spider webs. 
So he placed a tracker on Boruto to try um, taking advantage of Boruto's findings um, of saving the Chunin slash uh, person that they need to rescue. Um, and as a result, uh, Boruto and him got into a little fight. He... Uh, so what ends up happening to the spider guy is he basically ends up in a crater and Boruto decides to save him rather than rush back with the person he's supposed to save. So Boruto cuts it really close with timing and as a result, Boruto makes it right at the end of the gate, one step away from making it through with the person and right then the exam time ends. So Boruto comes up short right then. Um, and meanwhile, Naruto, Sai, and Shikamaru are watching all of the Genin compete on footage from a tablet. So they know everything that's going on. So they're making their judgments based off that. So then we go on and we, we find out that there's no third round. But what they're calling it is the final round. Um, oh, actually, one more thing before I get back to that, just because I remembered. I should have wrote a point about this, too, but Boruto tamed a um, snake in the episode. I thought that was a little cool moment. Uh, Could have been better, again, if it was more fleshed out, but um, cool little thing to see. I could definitely see it happening since uh, I, the snake summoning could be his thing in the future, so I think that was pretty cool. So, advancing to the final round... Um, of the tuning exams, which will be one-on-one -on -one battles, is going to be Hoki, Inojin, Chocho, Wasabi, Subaki, I believe that's how her name is said. She's the samurai girl on their team. I always forget her name. But yeah, Subaki, I believe. Um, Iwabe, Denki, Mitsuki, Sarada, and Boruto to end it off. So... Um, I think there's going to be room for a lot of potential good matches. And I think there's no advancement here. It's just you just do your one-on-one -on -one and they'll um, pretty much gauge you off of that. So it might be five episodes, I'm thinking, or um, maybe four. It just depends how they want to pace it. But I think they're trying to do a battle an episode. So if they do stick to that pace, um, we should be getting at least five more episodes of this tuning exams but yeah but another thing that disappointed me here unfortunately in this episode is the fact that metal lee didn't move on i thought that was pretty disappointing because i feel like he would be a very interesting character to see fight here but they didn't let him move on for whatever reason and that's kind of disappointing i feel like he's a lot of wasted potential so i really hope he starts to get utilized soon because right now he's really not cutting it and it's a shame. I mean, how are you going to have Denki advance and not Metal Lee? I mean, I guess it makes sense a little bit for Denki to advance because of the whole technology aspect of it right now and like how he gauges stuff, but he's not really that great at combat and that's definitely a part of this too. So we'll see what they do with him, but I am a little disappointed about that. Um, Overall, my rating for this episode is probably going to be a 5 out of 10. Um, for me, that's like a mediocre episode. It's not one that I hated, but there are a decent bit of problems with it. And, um, you know, I try liking anime canon stuff if it's good, of course. And I feel like this has the potential to be good. I'm sure the one-on-ones could be good. It depends on how they handle them. But I do think they kind of fumbled... Uh, these beginning stages a little bit here as well as who advances so it's a little disappointing to see that but it wasn't completely horrible or anything like that it was just an eh episode to me but yeah that's my thoughts on this episode let me know what you thought of it in the comments below be sure to leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed subscribe to my channel if you guys are new especially if you guys are a boruto or naruto fan hope you guys have a good day or night whenever you guys are watching this video i'm rewinds and i'm out